Hey guys and welcome to my next video. Uh, this one is a connected to the ISO lines uh, notes but I'm going to continue here um, with this example and this is how to calculate gradient. Uh, gradient is found on the front of the reference table, the formula, and it actually is right here. So gradient equals change in field value divided by distance. Okay, so you don't have to memorize it, but you have to know how to use the formula. So I'm going to copy that formula here. I would always write your formulas down before you use them. Gradient equals change in value divided by distance. Okay, and when you deal with this, the change in value is going to be whatever the ISO lines are measuring. Okay, and then the actual distance depends on the scale. So remember scale and these are the ISO lines. Okay, so when you're dealing with the examples or dealing with um, trying to figure out or calculate one of these, uh, you have to keep that in mind. All right, so A to E. So A is here, E is here on the map. Okay, so a quick little way to do this, which is you're going to grab a piece of paper, okay, to find the distance. But first I'm going to look at the change in value. So change in value is going to be what the ISO lines are reading. So in the case of E, E is 30,000. Okay. You could read that off the ISO line right here. A is on the 10,000 uh, ISO line mark. So I'm going to write that here. So 30,000 minus 10,000. Okay. And then you're going to divide by your uh, distance. Okay. And now distance, how do you figure it out on this map? So what I do is I take a piece of paper. I line it up to my points A and E. Just like so make marks on the piece of paper like this and then I'm gonna bring it down to my scale down here okay and what you're gonna do you're basically gonna mark the distances and slide over so that's 20 slide it over and it looks like E is gonna be 40 because 20 plus 20 is 40 so 40 kilometers so A to E is 40 kilometers and then you're carefully going to type that into the calculator 30,000 minus 10,000 which should give you 20,000 divided by 40 and you should get 500 now we know we don't just write numbers in science so you have to look back at the units so the units up on here, remember, were particles per centimeters cubed. So that's going to be the top part of your fraction. So particles per centimeters cubed. And then the distance is in kilometers, so I wrote that one. So the full unit is going to be particles per centimeters cubed per kilometer. Okay, so you just basically stack up all the units together, and that's your final unit. So again, put your units into the substitution, okay, next to it. So I put it right here, particles per centimeter cubed, and then kilometers for your distance, and the final units will be this over this. So particles per centimeters cubed per kilometer. All right, so hopefully uh, we'll do some more examples of this, more practice in class. Uh, this will definitely be using contour mapping and also isoline examples. So make sure you guys know how to calculate it. Make sure you know how to use this formula. Thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you next time.